Hello. So we're looking at a piece of Americana, very tiny little piece of it, not known to many. And I found it because I like exploring Texas's small towns with my family. So in the old days, you would take road trips with your family and just stop to look at little curiosities like this. It's kind of a dying art, but it used to be a big thing. Big enough that Weird Al made a song about it anyway. Not this spot here, but the concept. And you are looking at a gas station that is covered in petrified wood, hence Petrified Wood Station. It's in Decatur City, Texas. Uh, it's a city in name only. Nice place, but it's a small town. And it was built in 1927 by E.F. Boydston, who eight years later decided to start covering it with petrified wood. I guess there was a lot of it laying around. I have no idea. But once he started, as the city's website says, he didn't stop. He also covered his cafe and motor court. Cafe closed in 64, the cabins, the motor court in 70, and the gas station held on until 1989. Luckily, his grandson restored it to circa 1945. And it's pretty cool. I really like this. This is, you know, a piece of preserved outsider art, folk art, and roadside attraction kitsch history. It's great that it's preserved. I'm really happy that it is. And somebody took the trouble to do that. There's the petrified wood up close. wonder how old it is. But it'd be neat if they could figure out something to do with it. Like open up a restaurant in the larger portion, that building, something. Who knows? Here's a look at the office, and it's like a time capsule. Something straight out of one. Isn't that great? I feel like this is the kind of thing my grandfather on my dad's side would have stopped to take pictures of back when he was alive. Just like I did. I was compelled to. So maybe it runs in the family. Decatur City, Texas. Petrified Wood Gas Station.